Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jazzland Second Life, where I'm all about decor and landscaping in Second Life. And I wanted to do a quick intro to these older videos because I want to show you how I use my CTS wardrobe for my decor and my landscaping items so that I can catalog them and see them all very, very quickly and very find them easily in my inventory. But I didn't want to have to go through setting one up again because you can only have one CTS wardrobe per avatar. So I needed to use my older stuff from when I first got my wardrobe in 2020 in order to show how I bought it, set it up, and all that good kind of stuff and used it for my other items. So if you already have one and you know how to use it, feel free to skip other older ones <laughs> to get straight into the new things that I'm going to show you with landscape and decor. But if you've never used CTS wardrobe, this is a good introduction to it, at least to show you kind of how I use mine and how to get it set up. All right, enjoy, and make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see y'all in a bit. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my adventure with CTS Wardrobe. So I've been using it a couple months, and I've learned a few things. So this is going to be a quick tip video, not a long one, but I've just found some little... Um, helpful things as I've been using this that I want to share with you guys so that's gonna be my quick tip videos I'll throw some of those in this playlist as I find things that are helpful all right so let's look at the wardrobe head which mine is down here and what I want to show you today is how to lock your wardrobe head because if the head comes off when you're changing clothes or changing outfits and adding things and removing things, then nothing will work with wardrobe because you have to have the HUD on. And as you saw in one of my previous videos, totally forgot to put the HUD on. That's why I couldn't find my folders. So let's talk about locking the HUD. Um, the other little thing, if you use that little arrow, see how tiny it makes it? And then you just click on the wardrobe. But anyway, locking the HUD, here we go. So you go to the three little bars and it's gonna bring up this menu right here and we want to go to setup setup man why does it keep popping let's move it I'm trying to keep you still to tie it down and then after you do setup you want to click the button that says lock the hud and once you've locked the hud all that means is that anytime you use wardrobe to change clothes to do anything it will always stay locked on your avatar. You don't have to worry about making sure that you save it with an outfit or adding it back to your avatar because it will stay on your avatar. So this is excellent because you know me, I, I forget to do things <laughs> and then I can't figure out why they don't work. So that is your quick tip. Lock your wardrobe hut, wardrobe, that's interesting. It's early, y'all. Lock your wardrobe head, and that way it doesn't come off, and you don't have to worry about trying to add it back. So, I'll be making some more quick tip videos, but that's your quick tip for today. Lock your hood. All right, peace out. I'll see you in the next one.